Hey, this is Max from Traction Dynamics. A couple of people had asked me to, you know, I'd mentioned how much the front end oscillates and how lightly damped it is. And uh, so on a normal uh, motorcycle suspension, you would look for, actually any type of suspension, you'd look for any type of compression of the suspension system to result in a single extension of it back to its neutral state. Uh, typically anything that oscillates past that kind of shows a sign of uh, a lack of uh, damping, sufficient damping, right? So if you had a shock that was blown or broken, uh, a spring would just allow constant oscillation with, with you know, until, a, until the system settled. But so that's kind of just, you can watch this, watch after I push on it, watch it lift and settle and bounce it once or twice. So I'm not touching it. You can watch it bounce like three times after I push it. So that's, that's kind of a classic underdamped shock absorber. Um, that's going to lead to tire cupping that people are familiar with on the older bike. And uh, it's a <clears throat> um, kind of a, a lot of this leads to the kind of unsettled feeling um, that this bike has when you uh, open the throttle or close the throttle mid-turn, um, or it also kind of floats a lot on the highway. So um, under wind conditions or passing cars, kind of a, there's a floaty feeling to it. So um, with more damping control, you won't have that, you won't have that symptom. So. We'll see if we can fix that.